Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to create a new site collection within your Office 365 SharePoint Admin Center. You'll go into the SharePoint Admin Center, which you'll find under the Admin, and then at the very bottom of the, the list to the left there. So I'll go into SharePoint there, and there you see a list of your existing site collections. To create a new one, simply create the new button there and select private site collection. The reason there's a choice there is that you SharePoint online in Office 365 used to support public site collection also, but that's no longer supported. Now we have private site collections. So I'm going to create a new site collection for the finance department. As you notice, I'm filling out the finance twice here. First there's the title. And then there's the last part of the website address. As you'll notice, the website address will be the first part, which is the name of my tenancy, and then SharePoint.com. And then you can have sites or teams, whatever you want. I usually here and rather free with special characters, spaces, exclamation marks here in the title, but I usually try to keep the website address clean and also in lowercase. That's just a preference on my part, but it does make the URL look cleaner in my opinion. And here you can select from all the languages that are supported in Office 365. There's a whole range of, of languages there. I'm going to stick with English for now, and then I'm going to select the template. And I'm going to go through the different templates and other demonstrations, but for now we're just going to stick with the team sites. This is very flexible and you can turn other things on based on the team site. So I usually build on top of the team site. Then you select the time zone. And then you select an administrator. This is a very important role because you can't remove the administrator. You can't remove that person's permissions afterwards. So you need to be very careful who is the administrator. In this case, I'll be very careful and put me as the administrator and then I'll put a storage quota in there. That's also a rather important choice, but you can easily change that afterwards. And I'll put that to 300 megabytes for now. The server resource quota, as you'll notice, there's only 5,600 of those available, and the default here is 300. I usually don't need that much. 100 is plenty. The only reason you would use server resource quotas is if you run code on the server. And that's rather tricky to do in Office 365. So if you build uh, solutions based on the sandbox solution with server-side code, like event receivers, then you need to be careful about your server resource quota. But otherwise, you will most likely not use any of those quotas. So you might just save yourself some, some trouble by putting the server resource quota to a low number there. And I'll put mine to 100. And now I'm just going to click OK, and the new site collection is being created. It can take it to 15 minutes, and there you see it's being created. So that concludes this demonstration on how to create a new site collection in the SharePoint Admin Center of Office 365. Thank you for watching.